Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video I will talk about the Phoenix Junior Transmitter. It's a infrared strobe part, basically it is that little square part here. Uh, we see some electric parts in it. On top of it, it has XMTR infrared flash 3CNT2 and then is a longer number, quite likely the, the military number. I saw those items for years at the SHOT Show. Uh, somehow I never did buy one, but now was the time to get one. Uh, currently in USA you find those items really easy and relatively cheap on eBay. Uh, it's used by the US military currently and the ear strobe is not that easy to get because it's restricted and uh, also for export like if I would be still in Switzerland to export it from USA to Switzerland it would be a problem with with the US laws but inside USA it's absolute no no problem to get those items and it's basically a collectible so we see it's a molded in part and on the inside we see still a bit how they did fill the the part with with the glue it's a quite likely as they manufacture it it's a outer shell that is injection molded and then the electric part gonna get pushed into it it's hollow inside and there is a bit glue to seal it all up and make it more more uh, durable so the quality of the build looks pretty nice and uh, other than the infrared one they also make it in colors for for a uh, training they say uh, I did not see on the website the white one currently maybe I did overlook it but they had a, a red and a green if I remember right uh, maybe a a white one would make a bit sense too. Uh, problem is they use 5mm LEDs and quite likely the, the beacon is not going to be really bright. Uh, as I see on eBay they only sell mainly the infrared one. That's apparently the one that the US military use and not the color ones that much. So maybe one day I see the, a color one like a green one and get that. We see. Then we have the whole unit comes in that Ziploc bag, that's the original packaging, it's in here and that paperwork here. Uh, we see the Phoenix Junior transmitter and we see the introduction, what it is. The ear version cannot be seen with the naked eye, but as we put that on in a minute then the camera still see it blinking apparently the, the camera see things a bit different than the human eye so there on the camera we see it blinking but in reality we would not see that and it uses a simple battery we also see there they are located in Bonita Springs Florida and the website is below on the right side too On the back side we have some more information. The whole item is pretty simple made and not, not complex and all. They simply did fold it, fold the paper and stuff it in the back there so nothing special at all. So as we see on the item it is for the 9 volt batteries. I'm here in the south so we go by the family dollar and support that company a bit and it simple switches on the part here you push it on it you need to make sure that it is a uh, good on it and sits on the on the part And that's basically it, how it looks and how it functions as it is connected with the battery then it's on 
and uh, to my surprise there is no flash to be seen the battery is good with with uh, this camera we don't see the flash actually uh, but I gonna upload a second video where we see the flash how that looks like I did uh, already make a, a video with a different camera and there actually we see the flash I'm surprised that we don't see it that here it's like a bluish flash but I gonna upload that too as a part part two of that video yeah that much is it how how that looks it's a uh, pretty durable batteries are common in USA too and to take it off you simply disconnect it from the battery that's all what it is the ER infrared strobe are used by the military that you see with the night vision where the friendly forces are uh, quite likely the, the terrorist or who knows where where they uh, gonna fight with they uh, not gonna have the ear strobe or beacon items like like this one here because that's pretty uh, high-tech and therefore you see where the people are your own people and not the, the other people and uh, that is pretty helpful to prevent the friendly fire which happened a lot in the past one way or another and we could only have wished in the Swiss military back then as I was there to have such high-tech equipment and especially on on such uh, prices so that much about this nice infrared beacon